when people are challenged, they say, have you prayed? You hardly hear people say, have you given God thanks? <laughs> you hardly hear people say that. Have you prayed? So it goes again on 40 days fasting. Again, thanksgiving dry. Thanksgiving dry. After 40 days, he's weary, he's tired, he's lost weight, he's lost color. But there's no result. Nobody ever asked another one, have you ever given thanks? Have you given thanks? I've prayed about it. Have you thanked God for it? Have you thanked God about it? What a missing axe head. What a way to waste energy. Trying to fell a tree without the axe head. You break the handle of the axe and the tree won't fall. So you'll be laughing at you and me. Mm. I thought you should be smarter than this. It takes thanksgiving for your prayer and my prayer to secure God's hearing. And until he hears, he cannot answer. Until he hears, he cannot answer. You can quote scriptures from now to tomorrow. It won't change. It's the one who wrote it. It's kind of embarrassing with it. <laughs> Amen. But when you give him thanks, then say, yes, what are you saying? What are you saying? And then he answers you. No prayer of yours will return void anymore. Yeah. Every time you stand in the place of prayer, you'll be sure of the answers. Yeah. As you give thanks, the same tempo with which you pray, give thanks. And then the answer will come speedily. Can I hear your loudest amen? Yeah. That is what we have packaged in thanksgiving. They are wonders of the age. They are hidden in the midst of thanksgiving. It's so important. Jesus prayed. Lazarus still died. He got to where Lazarus said, I thank you because you have had me. 